Hey guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery of Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so today I have Nakey Nails. That means miniature time. So this is the last episode of the Cat Bakery that we are doing. Um, so this is what we have managed so far. Let me get sure you can see it. So this is what we have managed to do so far. We've had um, our boxes. This part's going to get glued down. This we did on the last episode. So now we are completing this up. Y'all, I am so excited to be able to get this completed and displayed. Okay, so I have broken up um, mine into six parts. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And when I mean by I separate them into six um, is that I like to kit up each of my sections in a bag with all the parts that I need to do it. You don't have to do it this way. This is just one of those things that I do so that I know that I have all the materials and that I'm not going to accidentally lose them or anything. Okay, so, um, and by the way, uh, the very next uh miniature episodes that we're going to have is I put out a video and showed three miniatures that I have and asked you guys opinion y'all's which y'all wanted uh, to see done next and overwhelmingly I had a lot of people vote for the coffee shop so that coffee shop is going to be our next miniature series um, so what I'm actually going to do is the very first video will be showing how to kit up the coffee house because it works differently than these books. And so I wanted to give someone, uh, everyone a chance to understand how row life works theirs and, uh, how to kit it up or how to get ready to be able to put together your miniature. So I hope y'all are excited. I'm excited. I cannot wait to do the coffee shop. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to do all of my miniatures. I'll just go there. <laughs> So anyway, what we're going to do in this first step is we have a piece of wire and we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to shape it kind of like a little fork, right? Like it's just a little utensil. We have two pieces of the silver matte paper and we're going to put them together with the silver sides outward. We're going to glue them together and then we're going to glue it on to here. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right. So there is our little cake server. Okay. So I'm going to leave it in here so it doesn't get lost. The next step that we have to do is we're going to be building this cake that goes on the table. <clears throat> All right. So they have given us C11, which is this brown ribbon. Okay. And we cut it to the six centimeters that it asked us to. Um, it tells us to put glue on the ribbon and let it dry first before you cut it. Now, I have already done that part, okay? Then it asks you to take one half of it and to cut 2.3 parts off of it, okay? Because you're going to use them in making your, so sorry for the, Barking someone went outside my Driving by and my dog my dog is like she yeah, she's lost her brain ever since having these puppies um, Okay, so you're gonna wrap it around and then you're gonna use the smaller piece to make a bow Okay, which you're gonna put here. So I'm gonna do I, I've already cut this part here Okay, and I've already cut this so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to time-lapse showing you uh, me putting it around the cake and making the little bow and putting it on. And we'll be right back. I 
apologize. Uh, while I was doing the bow, I did not realize that my camera had stopped recording. <laughs> um, it's not a gorgeous bow, but it is it is a bow. Huh. So we've got the bow on there. Okay, so I'm going to set that to dry. The next thing is, and I've gone ahead and I've, uh, oops, I've already gotten the um, pieces cut out for the uh, fruits. I've got my lemons my uh, strawberries and my kiwis okay so i've already got all of them cut out okay we're going to put together uh this uh cake pan right here which just means we're going to put the gold part on the um these part right here we're going to put the gold part on to here and then we're going to glue the doily part on then we're going to glue the cake on and then we're going to start decorating it okay so i'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces all together and put that on um and we'll go ahead and get our decorating done but i will do that in time lapse for you And so now we have our little cake. Okay, so we have all of our little fruits. And I did add that last little sprig right there of the um, dried uh, leaves and stuff. We have our server and all that. All right, so let's see what we do next. So next we're going to make the cup, you know, the, the thing to put the teacup on, which our little plate thing, plate. So it says you're going to cut off the black part of the center that's right here. So you have to be very careful that you are cutting on the real line. Okay. And you're going to, these little red marks are that you're going to make those little slits. And it's just so that when you, you cut this part here, do not cut this. Okay. Please be careful. Only cut this part right here. And you're going to bring this piece over here and it just allows it to be able to bend. Then you have another piece that is this white piece you're going to stick in the center and then you're going to glue the cup on and you're going to do two of those. So I'll be doing that. And here are our two teacups with their little plates. All right, so let's set those to the side. All right, the next project that we're going to do is we had to cut out this little tiplet according to the candle, uh, cut out this little plate uh, in silver according to the temple. And 
drill holes in shown um, in this little pattern with an awl and then you're supposed to take this little bead and you're supposed to wrap this around the top of the bead and then put the little candle flame uh, in the top here and then there's a uh, another piece like this this reddish thing that's in paper that you uh, go around and put that as well so we're gonna do that now I wanted to show you real quick I already had done this when I did my um, initial thing all I really did was I took my exacto knife the tip of it and I just went in and made circular little you know divots following the little pattern um, the purpose of this is so that supposedly the light can diffuse out It fell over. So here is our little candle flame on the little lantern that we made. Okay, so the next step is where we're going to make the table and we're going to put the light going on and put those other pieces on. So it, it tells you right here, there's a, a part of the, the light that has these two copper pieces right here and it tells you to go ahead and wrap up this copper wire with a7 now your uh, craft kit does come with a7 which is this gummed paper um i don't generally like the gummed paper so i do have electrical tape so i'm actually going to use i have some white electrical tape i'm actually going to use that to do uh this part okay and they do tell you before you know you use it use this to try to check your uh light make sure that it works um then it tells you right here in the back of your table to dig a groove with a depth of one millimeter like this going from that uh going down 1.2 centimeters okay make it a pretty deep little groove be careful not to go all the way through and then you're going to glue this onto your tablecloth and you're going to need to make sure that where that hole is right there on the other side you're going to want to poke a hole into your tablecloth so that you have room to be able to put the wire through uh, then here you're going to put the wire your little lamp that's the the light part through this and bring uh, the rest of the wires up underneath the table see it tells you to go ahead and put it through that groove right there and then you're going to put your this part on because you're going to bring the wire through this part right here okay you're going to bring it out because this is going to go um, into a spot in the floor to be able to help light it up um, and so then once you adjust everything you're going to stick on your C1, okay, right here. And then it tells you to uh, go ahead and put your uh, parts on. Okay, so let's do that.
all right so here is our little table with the cake and the cups and the light and so we're going to put this to the side we're going to be very careful though because it's not going to stand up straight because this has to go through the floor but we're going to put this because we need it to dry and then we'll be right back all right so the last part that we need to do is the putting together the chairs and then we're going to put together all of the pieces so it says that and i've already cut out uh the pieces and everything we're going to put the wooden piece on the back of the fabric and it says to fold it all in and kind of kind of trim the corners over here um and then you've got another um part that's like this uh cardboard part and it says to cut out that according to the backrest template and you complete the backrest then you have the seat cushion so once again you have the wooden you're going to put the uh, fabric around there you're going to trim off the corners you're going to put that piece on the back you know to hide those and now you've got the seat cushion um, then you're going to put together the parts of the chair which have these two here um, uh, B19 and you're going to connect them with B20. You're going to want to make sure that this part is dry uh, Before you go trying to put this part on because if it's not it's gonna it's gonna fall in between And then you put on your cushions and you will do this twice So because you're gonna have two chairs one for each side of the table So let's get to making that I mean they're not perfect but you know this is my I, I just I'm trying to it's the first time actually working with this faux leather stuff it works a little bit differently than regular cloth but I do have chairs and they are standing so now we can put together so we have our table we have our chairs um, and we are all ready to put everything together
Okay, <clears throat> so when it comes to wiring this up, first off, you want to always make sure that your battery box is in the off position, okay? Um, I generally tend to take my batteries out when I'm doing the initial wiring up for the simple fact that um, as long as there's no battery in there, it can't go ahead and become live. All right, so what you want to do is all of the white wires okay it has these little uh covers right here you want to take these covers off and you want to put all of the white wires together along with the red wire these are your um positive poles okay and you want to twist them all together and then like i said i use electrical tape to um you want to cover all of the copper part okay so you want to twist them all together and then you want to cover it with electrical tape then you will take all of the grays and put them together with the black and wrap them up okay and <clears throat> once we do that we have this little section back here where we can um put the battery box in with the um now you do not listen to me you do not want to glue it in because you are going to have to take this out to this just uses regular um triple a batteries and if you glue it in you're not going to be able to change out those batteries so do not glue it in okay you want to be able to take it out take the batteries out and then plug put it back in okay so that's what i'm going to do All right, well, let's put the last parts of it together and then turn it on and see it complete. Because I'm not, if I put the dust cover on um, while I show you, like it's, it's not going to show as well. Um, now, you do not have to secure all your stuff down with uh, glue if you don't want to. Mine is not going to be a kit that's going to be played with. Um, so I don't want my stuff to move. <laughs> So I am trying to glue down all of my pieces. So I'm putting my chairs uh, at my table where their little coffee cups are. I'm going to secure my boxes over here by the window. Let's see how do I want them? I want them like that. Oh, come on, boxes. And finally, why I call it a cat bakery, we are going to put the cat and she is surveying her store. For those that, um, I've had a lot of people that made jokes uh, about this is the cat bakery and they're like, oh my gosh, are you cooking? No, I'm not baking cats. This is her bakery. This is her pride and joy. And so that's why I call it the cat bakery. All right, so I'm going to bring you down where you can kind of see it more um, to the front. And then we will turn it on and take a look at it. All right, so this is our cat bakery completed. So we have all of our elements, elements that we have put together. 
um, in here so you can kind of see the ivy we had there. This was what we did last episode. We have what we made the first episode. We have our uh, cake display. And now let's turn it on and see it lit. Well, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Y'all, look how absolutely precious this is. So see, we have the cake stand is lit up so that you can see the cakes in there um you have let's see if you can see this here you have lights going up here so that you can see uh with the cake menu you have lights on inside of here and you have your lights right here for your little lantern in your um at your table and see this is where I've put the battery box right and that is our cat bakery oh my gosh I am so glad that you guys joined me for this I really hope that you enjoyed and if you have cat bakery or uh, I, I'm not I've forgotten what the actual what is the actual name of this the actual name of this is cake diary if you actually have cake diary yourself I hope that you have followed along and that you now have your own cute little um cake diary or as i prefer to call it cat bakery since she owns the little cat bakery um and i hope you've enjoyed doing this i hope that you'll come and join me for the next uh set which is going to be the coffee shop all right well if you like this video please put um hit that thumbs up button down below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of the Diamonds family. Just make sure that you hit that bell notification for all notifications so that you know anytime that I upload a video or go live, which is generally on Mondays at 7 o'clock Central. Now, before I leave you, I do want to make sure that um, I have put, I put at the um, beginning of the video, I have uh, an in the eye where there is the playlist for my miniatures so any of the tutorials that you are looking for even if it's just a section of one of these to know how to put it together or whatever or how i put it together then um you're free to do that i also have in the description box um, i have the tools that i uh, use i know that you've seen me use a couple of different tools in here um so so sorry the wolves behind me are um that live behind us are howling and so that makes my dogs howl because <laughs> they want to join in uh, so anyway um just make sure um that you, if you are interested in any of the tools that i use uh look in the description box um i also am part of an uh, admin in uh, a uh, facebook group that we call dp miniature builders um, and this is a Facebook group that uh, we started since we were diamond painters that wanted to get into miniatures. So we started a Facebook group um, from time to time. We get together and uh, we get a miniature and we get on a Zoom meeting and it's like a whole crafting uh, meeting where we get to work on our miniatures and ask questions and socialize and hang out. And so we have a good time. Um, I hope that you'll uh, consider possibly joining our Facebook group. All right, so I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars, grab hold, hold on, and never let go. Until my next video, bye guys.